of my life in the world, in spite of those circumstances, in spite of what's going on in the world, in spite of those circumstances, keep your faith in all my God and all Him. Uh, we are here by the divine appointment. We are here by the divine appointment. And we're going to get a scripture reading uh, of why we're here. Why we're here. Let's get uh, the benefits coming through in the The benefits coming through in the Let's get the benefits coming through in the Let's
and to do a holy convocation. And we're doing it like Hamashiach did, right? Hamashiach, he went into the synagogue at a time when they were under the occupation of who? The Romans. At a time when they were under the occupation of the Romans, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So, for those of them who say, well, we can't keep you because of the, because uh, uh, nobody knows when it really is because the Romans changed the calendar. But well, we see Hamashiach keeping it, right? Because when he came, he was born, born during the time of Julius Caesar, I mean, Augusta. And here he is keeping the Shabbat. Uh, I'm gonna get a song for my my wife. She's gonna open us up with a song. Come on up. You can see you can talk as loud as you want to in this mic. Okay? in that 
stuff in my PhD, in my master's degree. He said, I want your faith to rest in something else. I don't even want your faith to rest in how much I know about the scriptures. Paul said, I want your faith to rest in, let's find out, you know. We do have to speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of the age who are coming to nothing. So he said, I, I, I came to you not using the education of this system, but I, but I came to you under the anointing and in the demonstration of the Ruha Kodesh, of the Holy Spirit. You know? No, we speak of Yah's secret wisdom and wisdom of has been hidden, and that Yah's distinct de destiny, excuse me, distinct or are heard before the time again. What verse you on? Eight. Eight verse. No. Now, hold on. But, but in the seventh verse, he said, but, but we speak the wisdom of Elohim. Y'all see that seventh verse? He said, but we speak the wisdom. I see a lot of our people, Israel, my brothers, they got a lot of knowledge, but they lack wisdom. They got wisdom. But Paul said that when I came to you, I didn't come to you, you understand, quote unquote, speaking my PhD degree, my master's degree, my bachelor's degree, all the education of this world. But when I came to you, I came to you speaking the wisdom of Yah and in the power and in the demonstration of the Ruach Kodesh. Read on. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for it they had, they would not, not crucify the Mashiach. And glory. They don't understand the wisdom of Yah Elohim. They have a PhD degree, they have a bachelor's degree, they have a master's in theology, you understand? But they don't understand the wisdom of the scriptures. Read on. However, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what Yah has prepared for those who love him. But Yah has received it to us by his spirit. But Yah, my brother said, but Yah, the tip, the tip, brother said, but Yah has revealed them or disclosed them unto us by his what? By his spirit. By his ruah. By his ruah. He's made this thing known to me by his ruah. How did Paul come to know Hamashiach? By his spirit, but 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 he had he had say it now, brother. He had divine revelation. He had divine revelation. That means you couldn't reach me with a bunch of books. Right. They couldn't reach him with a bunch of books. He had to have a divine revelation. Some folks don't believe that Hamashiach is appearing to people today in a miraculous way. <laughs> Yes! Paul, Paul, they had plenty of scrolls in Paul's day. But, but listen, and, and a lot of folks were afraid to even witness to him. But the Most High, the Most High, I don't have time to go there, but the Most High in, in the book of Acts, we're not going there, but later on you can go and read it. In the book of Acts, the ninth chapter, the first through the eighth verse, on the road to Damascus, Paul had a revelation, the Most High appeared to him where a lot of light knocked him down. He had a divine revelation. And that divine revelation of the Most High that he had of Hamashiach, that's what you call revelation knowledge. Yes. Now who gave it to him? Did man give it to him? The Most High said, step aside, man. Uh. <laughs> yes, you my preacher, you my minister, you my evangelist, you my apostle, but step aside. I got this. I'm just going to reveal myself to him in a vision. See, some people, we just have to be in the reach. 
Some people are only the most high is going to have to deal with them directly. And Paul was one of those who the most high had to deal with directly. Because he was so valuable to the kingdom. Read over, brother. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of Yah. For who among men knows the thoughts of man except the man's spirit with him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of Yah except the spirit. So how can we know the things of the Most High? We will know the things of the Most High when His Ruha Kodesh come and dwell in us. When His Ruha Kodesh come and live in us. And when He's living in us, He's revealing things to us. That's why, that's why He told, that's why Hamashiach said what? Uh, uh, and when the Spirit come, uh, when the Ruha Kodesh come, He shall lead and guide you into all truth. Now, that doesn't mean we don't need pastors, bishops, apostles, etc. Yeah, we need them. You understand? But there is a process. Somebody say process. Process. You understand? Because there are some things that we learn collectively, and then there are some things you understand that, that the Most High will teach us by His Ruach, the well within us. Now, the 12th person, let me be in that one. Okay. We have not received the spirit of the word, but the spirit of the world. I'm sorry, of the world, but the spirit who is from Yah. That we may all, that, that we may understand what Yah has really given us. This is the purpose of him giving us his Ruha Kodesh. So that we can know the things that he has prepared for us. The world can give you I'll show you the things that he has prepared for us. They haven't seen it. Because it says, I have not heard. No, I have not seen it. Excuse me. Fear has not heard. The things that Yah has prepared for those who love Yah. Now, let's quickly go to uh, Matthews. Let's go to Matthews. Matthews. The 16th chapter, the first two to the 17th verse. Matthew, the 16th chapter. The Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter. The Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter. Uh, the third to the 17th verse. Matthew, the 16th on Peter on how he came to know who Hamashiach was. Okay, Matthew 16. Matthew 16, verse 16. I'm sorry, is that 13 through 16? 16, yeah, 13 through 17. Okay, 13 through 17 says. When Yahweh said to him to reach him of Pharisee, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, The Son of John the Baptist, others by Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, and, or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked. What do you say I am? Simon Peter asked. You are the son of Christ, the son of living Yah. Yahweh shall reply, Blessed are you, Simon of the Simon of Jonah. Simon of Jonah. For this is not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I, that's it. So we see. How much do I ask this?
And I've seen 41 years of ups and downs and twists and turns and roller coaster rides and just madness. But, but why is that? Why are we here? Why, why have we been able to withstand the atrocities? Because everybody in here has been through something. I know I'm not the only one. Yes, sir. Why are we here? Now, I, I want to get into the song, but I came out of the way from the Texas, but I don't think my mom want to, you know, just wrote the order of the way. I like to get directly into it. You know what I mean? Go ahead, bro. Because once he called me, it took me to get deep into the scriptures to understand what he was calling me for. My job is to not, um, I can't tickle nobody's ears. My job is to pull people out of the fire. According to Jude 1, 22 and 23, you have some compassion with some, you know, making a difference. And then with others, you got to save them, pulling them out the fire. Yes, sir. Even hating the very garments that they wear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, sir. This is, this is heaven or hell. That's how serious it is with me. I could die. We could all die leaving this facility and not truly knowing what the truth of the matter is. That's the most important conversation we need to have with our youth. We need to have it with our brothers and sisters. We need to have it with those that don't want to listen as many times as it needs to be taught because he's coming. Yes, sir. And when he comes, it ain't going to be a whole bunch of high fives and handshakes and hugs and pats on the back. See, everybody get that conception that when it says that he should wipe the tear from every eye, that means you didn't seen some stuff happen. You have to do it to the end in order for him to wipe the tear from your eye. Mm -hmm. But can you get your tears wiped away from you when you're in hell? Mm -hmm. And I come here all the way from Houston, Texas, my wife and I, not to talk about nothing but being not of this world. Hallelujah. Before I get into the meat, because these are meat eaters here. I see a bunch of meat eaters here. And I'm grateful because I don't have to change up my conversation for anybody. See, when I'm home in Houston and I have to serve in my church there in Houston, because I'm going to give God Lord Ministries in Houston, Texas. We are from Brandon Street. Uh, our cross street is uh, Belfort and Scott on the southeast side. And we got a mixed crowd. You know, we got the elders. Then we got the grown folk. Then we got the babies playing grown folk. Then we got the babies who want to be like the babies playing grown folk. So we got a mixed crowd. We have a mixed crowd. And when you get a job, it's different from when you get called to ministry. Because you can go be the best chicken fryer anywhere. You can go be the best sack at any grocery store. You can go be the best secretary or receptionist or, but when God calls you the ministry it's not about the people to be the best it's about winning souls and so when he takes you deep into this word at the beginning he already tell you about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil which lets you know there's two sides to this thing and all throughout the scriptures we've been shown that there's always been two sides to this thing you know the world tried to multi fast at this thing the world try to make us worship the Jesus and the God of this world. They make it uncomfortable to say Jesus just because it's written in the scriptures. The Bible was here before we were here. And I know it's, I know it's, I, I have no disrespect for none of my elders. I, I appreciate the wisdom and the time that y'all take to come here and even listen to a young cat like me. But let me tell y'all something. This thing right here, it was me and the who lived to see almost a thousand years old. How did they do that? How did they accomplish that? One of the one of the, the gentlemen that I'm speaking of in the scriptures, uh, he goes by the name of Methuselah. And Methuselah lived to be 900, if I'm correct, am I correct, 969 years old. Who accomplishes that feat? He was he was 31 years from living a day. Of the Most High. Because right. you know the Most High day is about a thousand years. That's right. He, he was, and then Adam. Adam lived to be 930 years. Then uh, Noah lived to be, how old? Because I don't want to allow the scriptures. I don't want to add nothing to take away from him. But these men, 
they lived a certain way to where they attained age and wisdom. Can you imagine living a hundred years? Sir, can you imagine living 200 years? Can you imagine 250? Do I hear three? <laughs> Four or five? Anyway, what I say is, I'm illustrating this point to, uh, to help y'all understand something. These men were old, even though they were old. These men were young, but they just looked old. But they were old because they experienced ups, downs, twists, turns, roller coaster rides, hurricanes, earthquakes, all this stuff. And out of all the people who came and went throughout the scriptures, these men lived to be almost the age of a day of the Most High. But why? Why didn't they explain that to us? See, the scriptures, I give all praises to the Most High on this day. Uh, we bear witness that there is no God but one. It's the one true Elohim of Israel, the Savior of the universe and the creator of the universe. All things were made by him in general for his pleasure, for his purpose. We were made for his purpose. I ran from the making of his purpose, not knowing that I never escaped <laughs> the making of his purpose. What does scripture say? Even if I make my bed in hell, he's there. So, you can't escape the most high. So if you can't escape them, what they say, if you can't beat them, might as well join them. So we got all these men of renown who were holy. You know, the churches like to tell us, you know, God know your heart. Oh, he understands. But what that does is that just put a band-aid on the wound of sin. I mean, we get to sin as much as we want to. And all we got to do is say a couple of Hail Marys and repent a couple of times and God forgive us, right? No. The scriptures tell us that the Most High says, Therefore be ye holy, for I am holy. Malachi 3 and 6 say, For I am Yahweh, I change not. So if he never changed, and if he wants us to be holy, doesn't matter what year we're living in, he never changed. So all of us in this room, as much as we would hate to admit it, we'll never live to see a hundred. That's a, that's a crushing blow. The way to see it reduced life expectancy from 900 plus years to less than a hundred? Come on now, we were, we were born into this thing not even knowing what's going on. Now that we know, now we know, now okay, now we know. How do we attain a relationship with the Most High? By being not of this world. That's the most important thing. See, they want us to be like them. They want us to be like them. They want us to speak like them. Then, they want us to dress like them. They want us to work like them. Hey, can I be so bold as to even say they want us to serve their gods like them? So everything that we are totally whitewashes our identity. Now some of these folks that were born up just like us, some of them were born into a situation they don't really have the whole scale of So that's where scripture comes in. Because what scripture does is it divides and it shows you there's always been two sides. It's, uh, it's never it's never been multifaceted. The opinions, the philosophy, what, what Colossians 2 they say? Beware, lest any man should, should spoil you through philosophies and vain deceits after the traditions of men after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Well, I know y'all probably heard me do a lot of jibble jabber about worldly stuff, but it's all been biblical. Everything that's going on now is fulfilling scripture. 
Scripture has been and is still being fulfilled at a proportion in which some of us will never fathom. But it's our own most highest will. We're just merely strings in the fabric of the grand design. So, I want to turn your attention this morning to uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. We're going to talk about not being of the world. I want us all to judge ourselves. You know, they tell us, oh, no judgment. That's what the churches say. They say, no judgment, don't judge. The scriptures say we can judge righteousness. You can judge yourself first, then you can judge others. Because if you judge yourself, then you always self-check. That way, when you see something that doesn't line up with your spirit, with the word planted in your spirit, you will protest it. And that's what makes you the outcast. That's what makes you the weirdo. That's what makes you the cultist. That's what makes you not like them. That's the truth. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Do you know that the most important information you can ever absorb at this point is in here? When the family comes, what is he? Second Corinthians 4 and 4. You got one? Yes. Read it out. Second Corinthians 4 and 4. And it reads, in whom the ever I'm still in ministry. Um, and so in the in the weather place in which I reside, I have a lot of people come back and forth through all the catacombs. So I'm cleaning my porch and snow to come up and I know I'm I'm constantly talking to him about the word, but he said something which made me give him an hour worth of my time. Hey, listen, you don't believe in hell? Well let me ask you this. Who you think won this world right now? What you think gonna happen when you die? Hey, if this is hell. If, they, if living right now and this is hell, I'll take it. If this is what God punished us to, I'll take that. Because we are sinners in this world, right? We're redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. But let's be real about it. If this was truly hell and this is where God truly punished us to forever, who in here wouldn't accept that? Huh? Hey, I'll take some being behind in a couple of years. I'll take some shortage of food in the refrigerator, be a long ass. I'll take that over burning eternally, and it's my soul, and I can feel it, and I'll never be able to leave. See, we don't understand. That's what's wrong with the churches. They don't want to talk about the most important things that we need to discuss. Who the God of this world is, what destination is for you when you follow the God of this world. So because they believe in the God of this world, they have been spiritually blinded. They have no blinders right now, so all they see is what's in front of them. And now that I tell you, this is what's in front of them. So you got all these mindless zombies walking around here, not truly absorbing the free bread and water that's being offered to save their souls from the fires of hell. Because the God of this world has blinded them. Everybody on this Kanye, on this Kanye Sunday service now. Everybody on that. Do you see how many masses are being deceived, bro? Black, white, Asian, African, China, out the numbers. All the people. Now we can only pray that this brother is being righteous about it, but we ain't done with him. Ain't nobody in this spirit be blinded by God in this world. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, right, come back to me. So yeah, we know who the God of this world is, right? Hallelujah. First Thessalonians uh, 5 and 19. First Thessalonians 5 and 19. And it reads, Quench not the Ruach of the Spirit. <laughs> so, these, so, so basically, the meat that we're talking about today, these are basic guidelines for how we know we are not of this world. Even, even in your walk outside of ministry, we should be very careful not to do things or say things, even think things, because our minds play tricks on us too. We should not do, say, or think things that could quench the spirit. That's right. You know, there's a word that I don't like to hear now. It's a profane word. But I hear so many people use it so frivolously. So vicariously, they they use this word like there's not a, a power in heaven who will snatch the breath out of their body. So I'm from the streets. I, 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 
I grew up with my mom and dad. They raised me. They believed in belts, stitched cords, fan belts, a whole car they had to. They old school. So some of that eventually rubbed off on me because when I stopped being a child and I became a man, I started seeing things that my parents very fervently tried to keep us away from. Now, what we talking about? Not be in the world, right? That's right. My parents was in the world. They went to church. Huh? But they was in the world. <laughs> We was in the church. They was in the world. We were in the church. They was in the world. And it was in the world. They was in the world. And, and, and hasn't that been some of us raising our children, wanting to be righteous, but having to still deal with the world, still having to be in connection or in association with the world? I know I'm not the only person in here sometime wanting to just shut my door and close my blinds and don't want to be involved with the world for at least a month. All right. I know I'm not the only one. But, but when you say stuff like that, and that shoe look crazy, you look like the weirdo. You look like the cultist. No, no, you look set apart. Mm. That's the desire. In your desire to want to not quench the Holy Spirit, to not quench the Ruach HaKadosh, you have the desire in your heart to not be like them in no form or fashion. So these scriptures are important, not just what we're bringing out today, Every single word from Genesis to Revelation to Lost Books, the Book of Jasher, every, uh, every, they're not lost no more because we found them. Alright. They're not lost no more. Alright. I have 60 months to say, well, you shouldn't teach from the Lost Books because they they lost for a reason. Well, I, I didn't graduate, but I got, my, I got my GED. You know what I'm saying? I know a little bit enough about English to know how this thing goes. So when I read something, I'm not the slow one in the book like, uh, because again, my parents, mom and daddy, kept the book in a belt. And though it's in the world, they had it in the church, but they was in the world. So while they had it in the church and school, they was in the world, but they was in the world, because they had to be in the world. We would just you better go to school and go to church and be tainted. We went to learn the streets. I left home at 15, young runaway. Huh? How many runaways I got to do? We jumped out there in that world quick, didn't we? The world has so much to offer us. My daughter, she's 18. She just left off the college a couple months ago. Jumped out, jumped fresh out the box soon as she turned 18. The milk had not clearly evaporated from her ears yet, and she jumped out in the world. Because the world has something better to offer her than what this world do. But the power of the Most High gonna draw you right back in, part of the child. Because your daddy and your mama Set a standard. And it don't matter what your standard is, your standard, the scripture says there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end is that thereof. Well, if you go out there seeking death, what happens? You go find. That's right. And the wages of sin is death. So yeah. please know that if you make sin your job, you're going to get paid for it. Uh oh. You're going to get your wages. Uh oh. The whole nine. Uh oh. I want this to be, I want this to resonate in the spirit of everybody who can hear me right now, even the people on the other side of this wall. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm not coming down here to give y'all no sugar talk. This is all salt because it's good seeding for our souls that make us want to get right with the most high before you snap the breath from our bodies. Yeah. I don't care if you're 99. We ain't supposed to be playing with this thing. This is life. There's people dying every day. I, I talked to another Jefferson. They don't want to involved in nobody. And look what happened. There's so many people getting affected by murder and being people that's never even thrown a bullet at you. You still get murdered. We quench the Holy Spirit every day going against what we're supposed to be doing. I go into the synagogues talking to the people relentlessly about the war and the hell's fire. I don't care how tough you are. You can't avoid that. You got hurt by cooking fried chicken on the stove before. Remember that grease pot on you? I was playing a muscle shirt one time. That grease pot, I said, oh, let me go put on the whole shirt. Because I wasn't, I wasn't built like that. I, I just wasn't built like that, sir. I wasn't. So I'm strong enough to burn in hell. Not for nothing. Not for no one. Not for nowhere. All right. All the nouns. And you ain't worth it. James 4.4. James 4.4. And it reads, Ye adulterers and adulterers. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. 
That means, hold on, brother, I'm sorry. That means those who, it, it's not a sexual thing. It means those who lay up with the world. Yes. Those who accept the world's views and ideas. Yes. Those who accept the world's customs and practices. We just had Halloween, right? Yes. Everybody's like, oh, for the kids. You just lay down with the devil. That's you don't even realize how important your soul is that you will accept the traditions of man over what God tells us to do in his word. And then will try to justify it. The justification. I want y'all to repeat after me. Disrespect, disrespect, disrespect. will get you checked. We'll get you checked. <laughs> <laughs> that it's not me. When I go to other synagogues and I go talk to the people, when I get in the word, they should see the look on these people's faces. And I go home with no blood on my hands because I've done my role. My job, I'm a soul. I practice the art of husbandry. You know what I mean? I say this to women pastors, they can offend me. I don't care. You're in error. This is God's word, it's not mine. I didn't write this. It's not a man walking this earth that can write this. Not man. Not, not one. You can't justify, oh, somebody trying to. No. James 4.4. 4. Read that again from brother. James 4.4. 4. It reads, Ye adulterers and adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with Elohim. Friendship of the world, enmity against the most high. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend. No, 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 no. Just, just us. Whosoever. No, 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 no. No. Just them. Whosoever. No, 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 no. Just the wrong folks. Whosoever. No, no, wait. Just the kids. Whosoever. Wait, 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 wait. That just is chicken shit. You had no hold of that, right? Whosoever, all right? Therefore, would be a friend of the world is the enemy of Elohim. So, so, everybody in here probably had a fight at some point in their growth, right? You had to move somebody. I took a couple of moves, knocked up. I got knocked up one time, but you didn't feel that bad. <laughs> I was very aggressive. I got up straight. I was fighting over here about a dog. My, my thing is, though, my thing is, is, Ah, what was I going with this? Help me, Holy Spirit. We are not like them. When we deal with the world, read that again. I just want to make sure I ain't falling out. James 4 4. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world right there. had many fights, small enemies. None of them was I afraid of. Even if I got beat up. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But who in here bad enough to be the enemy of the Most High? It said the enemy, not an enemy, not a enemy. There's no NIV trying to, you know. Don't read the NIV, y'all. It's deluded. Burn it. Okay? Trash it. They have extracted so much information out of scriptures. And the same individuals who wrote the NIV also published the Satanic Bible and a gay Bible. Throw out the NIV. Share this message with everybody. Give it the NIV. Compare it to the King James Version and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. So, when you're friends with the world, right, you have made a choice in saying, I am at this point rejecting all that the Most High has given me. Why did he tell Israel not to worship the gods or worship him like they, the world, worship their gods. Because you know why? They're going to be like, hmm, look at the way the people worship their gods. We should worship the Most High like that. So they start swagger-jacking the other nations. And the Most High say, oh, well, since you want to be like them, go be with them. All right. See if I say this. See if I come and I teach you. I come back and I, I remember you. But since you want to be like the world, remember when we started the world, what our mama dad said. Since you want to be big, you want to go and get on my car, boom, get out. They would just follow what the most hot told them to do. Now, I don't believe in, you know, just keeping your kids out. But, but if your kids are above reproach, if your kids are above understanding, and they're at the age where they can, at this point, be able to stand on their own two feet as young men and women, and you feel like the world got to argue with what I'm trying to argue for, and let's say the most hot, then... See, the office house of the hell you going, because I brought you here. 
and I ain't scared of none of mine, the most high don't give us a spirit of fear. That's what makes us not like the world. Colossians 2 and 8, we went over that. But, um, give me Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2. Is a, is a, it's a major problem with the world. Even, even some of our brothers and sisters in the truth, what happened is eventually they fall away from the faith because, again, their opinions and their views and their emotions outweigh the facts. The scriptures tell us that we should not conform to this world in no form or fashion. We don't know. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So, so, to the will of the Most High, to the will of God, to the will of our power, the greatest power, we have to be not conformed to this world. I'm going to step on some toes this morning, brother. <laughs> when I speak against homosexuality and lesbianism and transgenderism in our community, I see a few gay people kind of raising their eyebrows at You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They do it. I can't. I can't see if we speak out against it. Watch the world. So, 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 I had, I had some elders in the church come to the side and they said, you can't say, you can't say that. You're going to feel it. What happens if you feel somebody? Will you be able to stand in front of that person and explain what you're saying? Yeah, because the scriptures say, always be able to give an answer. But because he didn't give me a spirit of fear, I will address this publicly again. I do not have any hatred in my heart for homosexuals or lesbians or none of that. They are people. They are souls that are lost and blinded by the God of this world. Did we not just talk about that? They're blinded by the God of this world. That's right. They have been given over to a reprobate mind. I look at the word reprobate a few weeks ago. It basically means a worthless mind. What did it tell us? A mind. Two of the two ways. Put them in the verses? Yes. <laughs> so, so. The most high will give you over to a worthless mind. Yeah, that's why we're seeing all this pride parades and all this foolishness. They, they not knowing that pride goes before destruction and the hardest people before the father. Yes. It's dead on the corners. It's dead before you even die. You know? Because you're born into death. Oh, come on, no, I'm not going to know any words like this. Come on. This is, this is, this is where we are. Okay? We're not right here. Get out of all that fantasy and all of that imagination way of thinking. 
That's the world. We're not like them. Y'all, we're not like them. If they hate you, rejoice. Why is it right to If they hate me, they're going to hate you. So why should you be butter because the world hates you? Why? 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 We're not like them. You see, when Noah and Methuselah was building the boat, they were preaching 120 years. Eight people see salvation. You mean the whole world got decimated by water that they couldn't stop running out of God's faucet because they would rather follow the world? The devil was none of these good. Not one, but eight. They were not like the world. Now, who is here strong enough to repopulate the world and the God and wipe it out? Brother, we not like them. I don't feel bad for not being like them. I don't. I lost friends and family, and I'm still losing them. Bye. <laughs> if you don't lose my soul, I'm going to beat you up in hell. So guess what? Bye. Kick rocks. I love you, but you're not playing me there. You're not going to be the real stone tied around my neck. You ain't going to be the young oppressing me. That makes you dangerous. That makes you a terrorist. Oh man, who am I talking to this morning? That makes us dangerous. Not that we trying to incite violence, because we're not violent people. We believe in loving on each other. We believe in fellowship and in connecting with our brothers and sisters. That's why the world's I say don't be like the world. Oh, who caught that? He showed us how to love on each other. He showed us! Huh? That's why we can't be like them, because they love with condition. The most high love us without condition. Even in our dirtiness, he still wants to clean us up. That's right. Even in our willingness to be like them, he's still waking us up. Slowly but surely, the alarm clock starts to resonate more and more loud in this area, then it starts going off in this area. Now you can't go to sleep. You can't stay asleep no more. This is a real time to put on. You can't cut off the bus. This is your law, huh? This thing is waking up even white folks. Huh? You better realize that some white folks right now that's biting their tongue because they know not to touch the anointing or lay a hand on the prophets or it's a blaspheme against the Ruach Hakadesh or it's an add away or it's an add to or take away from these mortals. See, these ones. Okay, okay, okay. Don't be the word of God. Titus 2 and 12. Oh, I got me. He gave me me. And see, I'm in the synagogue where I go to the work and I break bread with the brothers and sisters. They not this deep in it. Oh, they hear it, you know. Ankle level. But <laughs> y'all don't see y'all neck in it. And that's why I love to come out here to fellowship with y'all. Because I, I, I thank you for, I thank the most high first for allowing me and you would stay connected if you would allow me to come and speak amongst your congregation. Let me tell y'all something. If anybody in this room experiences any kind of opposition, you should not feel bad about it. You should be glorifying the Most High. The scriptures say in 1 Peter 4.15, Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. I don't do persecution and death threats. All kind of stuff. Now, I remember when I got my first death threat. I panicked. I went and got my gun out of the closet. I slept like pot. I see good no problem. I was up. I was busy. You feel me? I'm ready to pop off. But if greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, why am I worried about this dude in the world who heard the death threats? You're supposed to be a brother like me. The struggle that can honest maybe? Titus 2 and 20. Titus 2 and 12, and it reads, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So, <laughs> these scriptures teach us. A good precept for that is uh, all scriptures given by inspiration of God. Is proper before God's reproof, creation, 
destruction and righteousness. And read the Titus 2 and 2. Teaching us yeah. that denying ungodliness uh, and worldly lust, uh, we should live soberly, right. righteously, right. and godly Hallelujah. in this present, in this present world. world. You cannot be like them and be eating bread and water. You can't. You're missing the meal. That's why it's not good to go to the grocery store when you're home. <laughs> When you're home, you just buy anything. What if one day you go to the, to the checkout aisle? You got all this stuff that you're hungry. <laughs> I hope I hear somebody. Um, and the checkout clerk says you got to pay for that. You got to pay for all of it. You only got $18 in your pocket. You got to let it be down the roses in your car. Not to mention the waters and the juice and stuff you got under the bottom. That's going to add to the right. When we sin, we stay in line. One sin upon another, not knowing that when we check out, we're going to have a pay for that. Man. I would rather be on the right side of the thing where I know that the Most High allowed the wash out to pay it off. It's already taken care of. Because, you know, some grocery stores, they got it now where you just do, 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 do. Yes, I need five of this, three of this, seven of this, and bring it to my house, and then they bring it to your crib. You be like, what are you doing groceries? He painted already. You see, they don't understand this salvation conversation is about when the Most High son Christ here, and Christ is telling the world, and be like the world, and he want to be a part of my world, because my kingdom is not of this world. He kept using the word world because the world is not. This world, that world, ain't this world. It's two different worlds. I know I'm not the only one here used to be on the dating scene to tell the girl, hey, girl, we can't rock because we from two different worlds. Ah! Sorry! We from two different worlds, people! Take a stand and be bold in it. Stand strong in the most high in the power of his might, not yours. We ain't stronger. We need you. And when you, when you got him, this is what it looked like. Right here. Because you're not going to preach sugar. All right. You're not going to preach Kool-Aid. Right. Salt is good. I just watched a documentary last night on the value of salt back in difficult times. Did you know that they used to use salt as a form of currency? Yes. Yeah. Back then they used salt as a form of currency. They would buy carols and sheep and oxen and even homes. Even for more. Even. Because. Hold on, I'm going to see if I'm going to see if y'all with me. Look. The highest commodity next to salt was us. Yeah. Think about it. They sold us. Yep. Anyway. Yes. Especially now, I know I'm not the only one. If, if, 
If you see something, right, and your spirit start feeling funny, I just don't feel like you have a weird. For me, it's like a weird chest pain. My spirit, man, don't line up with it. Things I used to do all the time. Can I help somebody with that? It's not me. Love watching pornography. It was so fun. It was fun. Hey, here we, hey, we don't do it no more. We can be real. We enjoy the vices of the world. We enjoy the lust of the world. We enjoy the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, pride of life. They just point out. It can be cheap. It can be anything. Anything that you put over the most high, you're heir because you have made that your God. And he told us we should have no other gods on him. No other deities. No other power. For what can they do for us? They can't save us. They can't raise up no king to be thrown. They can't get wisdom. They just collect dust. <laughs> That's why I can say it worldwide. I owe the gods to church. I have no respect for other gods. What other gods? It's only one. He did this all by himself. That's right. First John 4 and 4. And uh, verse, verses 4 and 5. First John, verses 4. First John 4 mm -hmm. and 4. That's right. Now, the most his children, and if we're his children, maybe like this. First John 4 and 4. And it reads, mm -hmm. Ye are of Elohim. Little children, and have overcome him, because greater is he that is in you uh -huh. than he that is in the world. Read on. They are of the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. Therefore they speak of the world. And the world hear it. And the world he is built. Now again, I'm gonna go back, I gotta back tell and then I'm reading about five more minutes in the file back, I got like three more three steps. Do you know that people are literally in love with the lie? People are in love with the lie. If 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 I told you all that we gonna all go and eat a bad meal when we leave here that's gonna make all the seats in the stomach, well ain't nobody gonna wanna do that. Does that make sense? Hey, we might gonna eat some small collard greens and some, some moldy cornbread with some, some small uh, chicken. You know what I mean? Because I know I ain't got no pork fans in here. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an ex-pork addict. Okay, 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 okay. But because we put on the new man, what happens is, is we get exposed to seeing what the world truly looks like because we're looking through a different set of eyes. That's right. We're not, we're not, we're not looking at the eyes. We're not looking at the world we call a vision now. The vision is now spirit. And when we look at the world for what it really is now, it's like, man, how can I do these things? How can I have that mindset? How can I say that? I, I didn't even know I offended somebody who truly Oh yeah, I know that. It made me. It made me because it is personal. It, it made me repent. This this scripture right here made me repent of all of the things that I had in my mind that made me question the Most High. How can we question Him? We're not in a position to question Him. We're merely vessels. Christian, that's just like you questioning your dad, and he tell you, "Boy, go clean your room." Well, that's why I don't clean my room. And in our house, I was like that and done. I, I picked my teeth up off for a couple times. Ooh, ask questions. But that's what they taught us. Ask questions. If you're in your church, you should ask questions. They don't want you to ask questions because they just want you to go with what they say. So the world love that. Oh! Tickle my ears! You might want me to tickle me elbow. Tickle my ears! Oh! It's all about being cute. And about the world accepting the lie. That way, when the sons of ancient come to come bring the church back, and all this blood is shed, everybody all of a sudden going into what is known as PTSD. Paradise shock. <laughs> My point is, we are not in the world. That's right. We are not supposed to be like the period. 
That's right. So knowing that he overcame the world for us, knowing that he teaches us to not be like this, he taught the disciples not to be like the world. They ate with him. They drank with him. They even all stepped in the same room. I'm pretty sure they probably had some jokes. I'm pretty sure when my shack had some good knee slappers. I'm pretty sure he did. But to see that and then to know what he was teaching as he was going along in that three year ministry, he was teaching them the way, the only way. Because the way ain't the world, he even told them no worship money. What did he tell the rich dude? Hey man, you he might be following the commandments, but sell all you have. Give it to the poor. Put your treasures in heaven. Come follow me. What did he do? The dude got butt hurt. He got sad. Because he had a lot. Let's just say, because he had a lot. I don't know if he used a lot, but he had, he had, he had much. That's what he did. Much. And he says to us that when we are of the world, we're blind. But the sixth verse say, we are of God. He that know of God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. See that? It's two spirits. It's always been two sided. It's always been two sided. So even when even when we when we're dealing with the government, we don't lie. We don't, we don't, we don't know. How, 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 can we, how can we be so trusting in a, in a world system that tells us to go against the very values and principles in this book? Trust the president, go uh, no Trump. Trust no man. It is better to, to put your trust in the Lord than to put your trust in princes. We don't know, we don't follow them. When you tell the world you don't bow, you tell the world you not like them. I want to hear everybody say it. We don't bow. We don't bow. Nah, say it like we really don't bow. We don't bow. We don't bow. Yes, we can love people. Yes, we can show kindness. Yes, we can have grace, mercy, patience, long suffering with the world. But we ain't got to be like them. We ain't got to be like them. I came all the way from Houston, Texas to show with y'all. This man said, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to he told you. Hallelujah. He told you. He told everybody in this room Hallelujah. to go through what we need to go through so that we can set a standard. If at the hour that you still like the world, then you're right where you belong. Mm. Mm. So are we of the world? No. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm asking the wrong people. No. Are we of the world? No. no. Do we want to be like the world? No. no. Should we subscribe to the world? No. no. Should we maybe reconsider our position with the world? No. 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 Why, y'all? Because we're not of the world. And I have no cause to say this. In, in my closing, you can say this. You can tell a worldly person. I didn't make face, but I would love that you can muster. Hey man, I'm not from this funny world you're from. You feel me? I'm not from here. See, y'all do things differently. I've always been, ever since I was a baby, something just felt weird about my situation. And you have to be the exception. That's what I, I, I just heard this last night. You have to be the exception. See, they don't make it seem like your situation is one of the real, just like everybody else's. But he told you for a specific walk. Just like he told you for a specific walk. Just like he told you for a specific walk. Yes. We all have something different with the same purpose. It's to glorify the kingdom of Elohim. That's right. But it's not to be like the world. So if you're like the world, that makes you unstable. And a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Teacher. We don't believe in instability. Yes. Not spiritual instability. I'm not talking about the world. I don't care if he was financially unstable. I don't care about that. Where is your soul at? Who has your heart? Jesus. What has your heart? Mm -hmm. Are you connected to anything more than a me? Is there anyone or anything you are more committed to than a Because if you are, then I must warn you. Because that's all that I am. A warrior. Turn away. Repent. Put out this world system. Church. If the congregation 
foundation is not built on biblical principles, leave because that person could be leading you astray. This is how you know that the Ruach HaKadosh is in the building. Because I don't see a big crowd in here. Slowly but surely, people are falling. That's why. No scriptures. Oh, the scriptures say that there will be a following in the church. He said it. And it happened. Y'all know y'all been in this thing longer than me. It was a lot of people here, was it not? Right. right. What are they doing? Falling away to the world. We are sheep sitting amidst the wolves. But y'all got me messed up because I got to put on wolves clothes too. The go to war with the wolves. I fight wolves. I'm a wolf killer. Oh, I kill them. That's what I do. I, 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 I go on and fight y'all. And if we have go on and fight y'all too in the world, I'm going to fight y'all here. All right. See, I don't want y'all to think. Just because I sing and I rap, that that's what I am. No, I will smash the devil's head in and chew like a bubble gum. I'm a boy on the brain dog. Message. I'm salty. I'm a salty message. Because I believe in pulling people out of the fire. I believe in speaking the sun with some compassion, making a difference. But I believe in pulling people out of the fire because I don't want people to screw up for a lack of knowledge. And ain't nobody talking to them. The streets sucking up the world. The world. Let them do it. How much longer are we going to sit back and continue to let this happen if we don't get together as a people and start lifting up the name of the Most High so that he can show his face? That's what we want. And when he come, just don't be like the world. Yeah. Just don't be like the world. Oh, they going to make you feel bad about it, brother. You a lame. You a martyr. You're a buster. You ain't going to hear it all. Man, I call everything except the child of the most high. I've been called an antichrist. He's done it. Oh, yeah, I know. I've been called that. I've been called the worst thing anybody could possibly call you in this life. God is Christ. Now, I'm very not antichrist. I'm pro Christ. I preach the teachings of Christ. I follow the teachings. I tell my people, follow the teachings. Because he spoke of hell. And hell, though it ain't for us, it does have an open invitation with your name on it. Hell is never good. Hell is constantly expanding. So, are we going to hell? Oh, no. no. How do we avoid hell? Christ. By not being like the world. That's what? You follow the Christ. Uh, Keep the commandments because the church is a day. Oh, no, they're white, man. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, man. I hope somebody watching here. I know y'all listening. The law has never been done away with. Alright. See, revelation comes to those who seek revelation. And you can't read revelations if you've never had a revelation. I'm a messenger. 